doing good. How you doing? We're doing fantastic. Great. It's good to see y'all again. Yeah, you too. Absolutely. Why don't you tell everybody who y'all are? Start with you and uh, just go across real quick. Uh, my name's Aaron. I'm the guitar player for Enamored. I'm Jules. I'm a singer for Enamored. We, we, we like y'all. We think y'all are fantastic Thank musicians. Um, we like your singing. It's Thank phenomenal. Um, talking about your singing, I want to talk a little bit about the adventure you just did with a school. What is it? A girls school? Yeah, Dallas Girls Rock. Yeah, how, how'd that go? That was amazing for me. Um, uh, kind of really rekindled in why I was doing it to begin with. Um, just watching these girls of all ages from 7 to 16 just come in there and just, you know, express themselves and not be judged. Um, and to actually feel like a mentor and feel like I was doing something important <laughs> was amazing. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. What, what kind of any details are you asking about? Well, I mean, it is important. I mean, you're w working with young musicians and, mm -hmm. you know, being uh, veteran musicians. That's very we important want... to nurture them. That's right. Yeah, because, you know, you get a lot of negativity and... and um, you know, I was interested because there were there were several workshops and they were talking about you know things about uh, you know people that are inside the box and outside the box and how it's okay to be unique and, and female and sometimes you know they were wondering well, why is it just girls rock? Well, they're looking to start a boys rock too. Oh, no, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but I mean they teach these girls. I mean we had Spinderella come out, we had um, Siren come out, we had a few people that were on the hush hush list come out to come and talk to them because they didn't want, you know, the school getting stormed, but I mean to have salt and pepper and oh, I mean, cool. then some of us um, performed and then, you know, we uh, we had a big showcase and um, there's a lot of talent out there and, you know, and, and to watch them just talk to each other and, and not be derogatory or negative towards each other and encourage each other, you don't really see that a lot, so I wish I had something like that when I was younger, so had a blast that week. I was ready to be up at five and I even, we even did a show right afterwards. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> but um, it was amazing. I'm definitely looking forward to going back next year and we're trying to get something going year round for after school programs. That's that's good. That's awesome, man. Hopefully uh, they get that boys rock going and yeah. then you can help Absolutely. out with that. I'll help out with that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're fantastic at what you do. You might as well you might as well do some training and help out. Yeah. And, and see, and then the big thing is, is uh, what what we're doing is we're trying to unify mm -hmm. music as it is because it's kind of broken apart. Oh, you know, yeah. And we're trying to get it all back together. Yeah. And and with what helping the youth, well, actually, y'all can push that down and and yeah. help them understand the unification is very important in the music community. Yeah. So. I think laughter and music is the best medication in the world, and you know, so to make people happy, just <laughs> music, that's amazing. That I don't is. ever want that to stop. And, and the thing is, you know, this world is very negative. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of negativity around us, yeah, and, that's, and that's why we're trying, and you are trying, and we're all trying, all the bands that we've worked with as far as all for this alliance. We put a little happiness in the world. We've done our part. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll spread out through that music too. Yeah. So, how long have y'all been together as a band? The band has been together since '04. Uh, this incarnation has been what two years? Mm -hmm. About two years. Uh, we've gone through a lot of singers and drummers, and that re that revolving door it seems to be. But we finally found a singer that wants to stick around. I think. She's always Wherever looking she behind herself. <laughs> yeah. Is that me? Are you talking to me? Well, I, I hope so. Awesome. Hey, He's like my uh, big little brother. Big little <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the same age as you. Hey, thank you. He gets to live now. <laughs> Maybe we'll make it another four years. <laughs> we are having fun, though. Oh, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm having a blast. And um, we're very... Uh, we're very different, but very tight knit. It's just weird how everything worked out, and so I just know that I can pick up the phone, you know, and I'm gonna start crying. I don't wanna talk about it no more. <laughs> no, it's it's a very comfortable feeling, you know. So. Well, you know, 
for as long as you struggle and you go through so many musicians, yeah. you just hope that you find that that niche, right? Yeah, and that that one that's gonna work to yeah. push you where you need to go. Someone that's a good front person, right. front woman that promotes the band, pushes the band, yeah. very passionate yeah. about the band. Yeah. You found that, yeah. I mean, she's yeah. good people. Oh, absolutely. And and. <laughs> So, I mean, it's great, and we love y'all's music, and, you know, I've talked to you on the phone before, and, yeah. and, and uh, you know, we've heard things, but, like I said, we don't judge. Yeah. We are, we want to know who you are yeah. by being personable with you and mm-hmm. finding it out, yeah. and that's Absolutely. what we're here for. And this is going to go into this interview, so I really hey, don't... you know, that, that's all we can ask for, you know, no, everybody in... Everybody's up front, everybody's expected to do pressure. There's no competition. I just want everybody to express themselves through music because that's really the only thing that's not taken away from us these days, you know? Yeah. And so, I mean, any genre or whatever, it could be a band that sounds exactly like us, and I won't sit there and say, well, I'm not going to help promote you, I'm not going to do this because I'm not about competition. Yeah. I'm just about expressing myself, and hopefully someone will get the same message that I got uh-huh. or the message that I'm trying to give. So people can say what they want to say. You know, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, but walk a mile in my shoes, I'll walk a mile in yours. That's, that's true. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> so, um, what else y'all have planned? Y'all have got any, uh, I mean, y'all had a, an EP release not too mm-hmm. long ago. We were there for that. Yep. Uh, y'all working, I know you're working on new music. Are yeah. y'all working on a full-blown CD? We're or? actually, we're talking about going back either September or October doing another five songs, mm-hmm. uh, doing another EP, and then putting them together doing it as a full length. So we'll have a 10, 10 or 11 song full length CD, or you can do it two separately as the two separate EPs. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Like like a double mm-hmm. double CD thing. Yeah. With mm-hmm. a poster in the middle. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's you know, like you said that you know that this band, um, especially when I came into it, you know, I, I saw I saw an opportunity where both of us had not struggled, but we, you know, both sides had worked so hard, and it's like now we're just gonna do it, and it's like it was almost to where we're like. You know, are we too old? Are we too young? Is this going to work? Are we done? You know, and it just, you know, let off. So, I mean, I think having two EPs kind of like that, mm-hmm. because if you listen to our music, there's positive and, and a storyline there going. So it's kind of like a, a whole continuance thing. So it's progressive. It's progressing yeah. the whole time. Yeah, the, the one we just released is the songs that we've had for years. That we just never got recorded, things like that. And then the second one we're going to release, we're going to have a couple of the older songs that we didn't get on that one, but mostly it's going to be more new material, yeah. uh, more of the direction where we're looking to be going in the future. So it just so happened that the previous uh, writer, um, I've written some of the songs that we that we perform now, um, particularly Empty, um, but. It's just weird how we all fit because I was able to adapt to her writing and make it my own and still have, you know, respect because I could see I could I could step into her shoes. Maybe not fill them, but I got my own shoes to fill. It's a pretty big ego. <laughs> <laughs> but um, awesome writing and it's just so funny how, you know, I can adapt to what she was saying and people are amazed that they are like, You didn't write some of those lyrics? I'm like, no one like you know, they, they follow and they see. And it's almost like my life that we're, you know. Transitioned over. Yeah. So, so you're feeling the same. Exactly. And and yet not. But, you know. So, I don't know. Just fate. That's all I got to say. <laughs> what it is. Fate yeah. brings everybody together. Yeah. Um, so you've always, y'all have always wanted a female singer. You always wanted a female friend. Our first singer was, wasn't. Uh, actually, our first singer was Jason Webb from Born and Raised. Oh, wow. Uh, hi, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we quickly kind of went in a different direction after that. Um, and ever since then, it's always been female fronted. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. We like female fronted bands. We yeah. like female bands. I like yeah. female fronted bands, too. <laughs> 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 well, bringing on that that uh, born and raised. What other local music do y'all dig? I'm everywhere. Um, like I said, anything that makes me think, 
to where I can put myself where they're coming from. I like them all. They're just to name a few. Definitely, you know, right in theory, um, Ellen the Circle. Uh, at one point in time, Atticane, um It was a special moment for me because I walked into it. There was that. Were, that show was the first DFW scene show that I had been able to experience, and so it was very powerful for me. But, um, you know, those um, solace, we're all just kind of supporting each other, and we're all just going everywhere, and no one's complaining about, you know, what times, and what's, what's really difficult is bar hopping, and it's not just because the drink specials are different <laughs> or anything. It's like, you know, it's like, okay, you know, this person goes on stage, you know, I can't be here, can you go to this one, you know, and I was supposed to be at uh, Tomcats, and things just didn't work out, and I was so disappointed because I actually got the pleasure to meet and work with Rob um, during the girls' camp thing, and so, you know, it was kind of nice to see someone um, a little closer to my age, and yet, you know, you look at her and you're like, she's not going to like me, she's hard ass, you know? And then I talked to her and I was like, I know exactly how she feels because people, they come at me and they're like, mm, you know, they, they think, is she okay to talk to her? Is she crazy? <laughs> you're, talking you know? about, you're talking about razor blade dolls. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Yes, sir, I am. <laughs> so, you know, and then she could, you know, so I wanted to see her play that night and then she couldn't perform the next day and I was so upset. And he was like, you should have called me. And I was like, please tell me you were there. And he was like, no, but I would have been. And I was like, Shh. you know, so there's just, you know, there's a lot of people. Um, Faded Grace, I talk to her every weekend. We we're trying to get something together with her. Um, Honey, I've been in contact with. We're trying to go places with them. Um, Mad Black. Awakened Theory. Awakened Theory. Um, uh, yeah, we saw a picture of you at Patty White. Yeah, we, you know, I met her 52 weeks ago, and she's actually become a very important part of my life, so. Um, she's very eccentric. She's got she her is, own little yeah. style. She yeah. does, but you know, I know all five of her personalities. I like them all. And um, you gotta, you gotta talk to them. You give her a call during the day, you're gonna be like, what's this? <laughs> That's the first, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thing her, uh, Joe Best, thief. too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Copper Thief, Mia. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. That woman is a breath of just fresh joy air. You know, like, you can't get a negative vibe off her if you paid for one. You know, and then she comes out on stage, and they've got all these heads everywhere, and she's got this tutu on, and you know, top hats and stuff. And then you go and you see her during her acoustic live, and you're just like looking at Jewel or something. And you're like, what? And just like me, like you know, I'm singing like you know, jazz at House of Blues, and people are like, is that you? <laughs> and when I first started singing those, I was like, you know, well, who don't disappoint my rock friends? <laughs> singing all these sissy stuff, like, you know, pop and all kinds of stuff. So. It's all music. It's all yeah. about the yeah. music. Yeah, Lilith of Exile, um, you know, there's a lot of us, uh, I think the four of us that, that really niche together just, just happen to get thrown together. And even pushed, you know, she has... Actually, I am going to say it because she'll probably dig it. You know, she has somewhat of a hard ass reputation or a bad reputation, Joan Jett kind of thing. When you call her up during the day, too, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd be surprised. Well, it's all about performance when you're on exactly, stage. Exactly. It's all exactly. about stage presence. Yeah, yeah and you know, and, and just because I'm not going through what someone in the audience is going through right then and there, or vice versa, the idea is to connect. And to let people know that you're not alone, whether you're on stage or in the audience. And that's why I keep going to everybody else's shows, because they keep me wanting to write. They keep me getting back on that stage, because people can tell me I'm great all day long, but if I don't feel it, and the only way I can feel it is if I'm helping. So, yeah. yeah. And I, I can tell I can tell y'all care about your fans, because I see y'all mingle with your fans all the time. So that's yeah. very important. Yeah. To move forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's let's hear it, man. I know you got some. Oh, man. Did she <laughs> name them all? What was the question again? <laughs> Ten minutes later. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> yeah, she named most of the ones that, that we really that we always go try to go see. Um, there's a couple of acoustic songwriters that I really like too. Anson Brody's one of my closest friends. He's been doing it a long time. He's a great player. 
Yeah, thick skinned as well. Brian Bridger's a good buddy of mine. Mm -hmm. um, I know I'm missing somebody else too. There's so many. Oh, I know. This, I love walking into this building just because it's free air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I love walking into this building because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like Biodome or something. You know, everybody in this has almost got the same agenda, and there's just so many of us that it's just like one big well, thing. We all support each other yeah. all up here. And, you know, it doesn't matter what genre of music it is, you know, like I, I'll go see, uh, well, you know, Born and Raised, for example, I'll go try to catch their shows, you know, they're, yeah, they're, not even, they're not even similar to like what we do at all, but it doesn't matter, you know, yeah. they come out to see us whenever they can. Mm -hmm. That's so, good, that's what yeah, it's about. Burning the Trend's another one too. Yeah, Burning Machine, yeah, Burning Blackout, machine. Mm -hmm. um, just, you know, there's a lot of... It, the spectrum is so wide, you know, basically just people that are having fun, yeah. that's that's what gets me there, you know? Yeah. I'd love to just see like a big genre of just everybody, just the mass Dallas chop suey Dallas, Dallas music, music. yeah, That'd I think, cool. and put some kind of like a, you know, pet something or children something, some good cause or whatever. You know? That, that's pretty yeah. funny. We'll talk about that when we yeah. get off of here. But uh, we got something in the works. But, um, yeah, because, I mean, they're just, yeah. See, anytime you go to clubs, it's either like a rock show or a metal show yeah. or a blues show or a country show. And, it's... and then, then that's when people are like, you know, they're there for their, their band that they came to see. Mm -hmm. But when you hear something and you're like, what? Mm -hmm. And you sit there and you stay and it keeps you from going to smoke another cigarette, go to the restroom, or going back to the bar. Mm -hmm. Those are three things that the music made you stop, you know? So I like a, I like a venue that has a lot of different stuff because I don't get bored. Not that anybody's boring, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, I mean, you can hear my stuff over and over. I get tired of myself all the time. <laughs> well, y'all like Curtain Club. I know y'all do. Y'all play there oh, a lot. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love Curtain I mean, Mark and Doug are awesome. They're mm -hmm. definitely about the local music scene. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to hit Trees on Friday. Yeah. Um, Trees is amazing too. We yeah, like trees. This will be our our first time playing there. So really, yeah. yeah. Wow. So we got we got an You're early gonna... slot because that's that's the name of the game. Right. So y'all come so. and, and and support us and uh, we'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that you all have seen shows at Trees, but okay. man, the oh, yeah. sound is completely yeah. different I, when you're on the stage. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, and and you know. I, I work for other bands and sell their merch there all the time. <laughs> I just like to be there, you know. So. Oh, we need to bring Deep Ellum back up again. Yeah. I think so. I mean, I it's would. getting there, yeah, it's but it's slowly but surely yeah. getting there. Yeah, I've, I'm sure it's no secret by now. I've got a litter of kids, and every one of them would you not believe that they're all musicals. So I got to keep this stuff alive, otherwise. They're never going to leave my couch. <laughs> that's the only way they're going to make money. So, yeah, wake this place up. <laughs> so, um, what do you think of us as DFW Undercover? What do y'all think about what we're doing? I think it's great. You know, we've needed something like this for a long time in, in the Dallas area. You know, we used to have Harder Beat Magazine. That went away. Uh, there's a lot of little internet things, but there's not one that just kind of joins everyone together. It's, it's everything is little segments of different types of music or different groups of people but no one's really coming together to try to unify all those little groups and I think that seems like what you guys are doing because I see you talking to bands of different genres mm -hmm. from not just Dallas but Denton, Fort Worth, all, the, all over DFW which yeah. I think is great that you guys are doing that. Well thank you. Yeah I, I'm on you know for me personally um, I like the fact that you guys are very personal mm -hmm. um, and you know I like to bring up the fact that you didn't just look and see who's you know the biggest person or whatever you're not just out there and if they mess up you're like never mind I don't want to talk to them you know because that's what it's it it's it's, it's it is still a cutthroat business but you guys are very personal you know and you like to dig in there and actually shows us that you're caring you're not just caring about your numbers and who's going to fetch you you know ratings or anything like that we're we're passionate about y'all's awesome. passion. That's yeah. that's one of our sayings, one of our quotes. We're passionate about y'all's passion. So, uh, well, we are enamored, but it does mean to captivate. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, and to he, inspire. Yeah. yeah. So y'all have a Facebook. Mm -hmm. We know that. Yep. Uh, 
Reverb Nation. Well, we have one, but we are working on yeah. uh, revamping that. Um, and we're, being, we're working on getting some... Uh, getting our website mm -hmm. built, too. Some so support. that should be up in the next, probably about a month, okay. for the website to be up. And then Reverb Nation should be pretty soon, next yeah. week. Okay, any, any other way that fans can get involved with you, find you, other than playing shows? Well, Aaron likes to get hit in the head for a dollar. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, plus, hey, you can always call me. Yeah. yeah. Um, they can call us anytime. Yeah. Um, if I can't drive, I'll call the cab for yeah. you. Face, <laughs> Facebook always works right now. Like I said, we're trying to branch out from that to getting, getting our reformation up and our website built. So yeah, okay. it's just taking time. We had a couple of approaches on management and stuff, and it's just stuff that we're working internally mm -hmm. to find out, you know, what we want to do. So a lot of good things. We don't want to move too quick because cramps our style, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you don't want to wait too long because right. the doors yeah. might shut. I'm about to say I've been doing this for eight years now, so I think I've waited long enough. I'm gonna reserve <laughs> comment because I don't want anybody to know how young I am. <laughs> <laughs> So anything else you want to tell the fans? Go check us out at Trees Friday night. Yeah. Support local music. August 9th. Yeah, August 9th. Is that the day of the show? Good job, Mary. All right. Woo at where? At Trees. Trees. Yeah. Yeah. We're on 7 o'clock. <laughs> Is it 7? We're on at 7.30. You're on at 7.30. Yeah, there's six 30. bands. Yeah. Um, six female front-end bands and... Uh, they just couldn't, they couldn't put it down, so that's what we got. <laughs> it's alright, 7, 7.30 though. Yeah, 7.30. Shall I have to come home? We're going to just go straight there. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to have to camp out on Thursday night. Hello? Hey, Mom. Biggest supporter. I'm doing good. Yeah. No, I'm, up at the, I'm doing an interview right now. You're, you're going to be on uh, on the radio. <laughs> it's like a Bama Jera yeah. moment right now. <laughs> uh, We're going to keep it on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I'll call, I'll call you back in a little bit, Mom. You have to say I love you. Okay. Say I Bye. love you. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to call her back. <laughs> well, we appreciate this very much. Um. And we can't wait to see y'all rock, man, cool. nice. again. Yes. So, thank y'all very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's Friday night, you